Hello everyone and welcome to my new Animal Crossing video. Today we are going to be building a canal where my river mouth is on the island. It's just to the left of the entrance here and I'm super excited to get into it and show you guys the process. I had a bit of a plan going in. I knew I wanted to have more of a resident neighborhood area to the left of the canal and more of the resident services shopping district to the right of the canal. So that was kind of the idea going in. So go grab yourself a snack, get some tea or whatever you want to drink, chill with me during the build, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so starting out, I needed to fill in the rest of the river here that was the remnant of what was here before. I needed to make sure I had enough space to work with the canal, and I actually ended up covering up more of it um, later on because the canal goes back pretty far. Um, so yeah, just filling this in, and I'm sorry if I <laughs> keep pausing in this build. I was actually watching Game Grumps, so I was just a little bit distracted, you know? <laughs> So I take a little break here to pop open my map so you guys can see it. In retrospect to where the entrance is, you can see the river mouth to the left there and the campsite all the way in the back. Oh yeah, so I don't think I mentioned that I'm doing a two-tier canal, <laughs> so I'm going to be having two bridges um, lined up together across the water, so I am building up this area here. I do end up changing the size of it a lot, so a lot of the terraforming did get kind of chopped up because I ended up changing everything, um, but I left a lot of the general shape and style so you guys can follow along and see what the process was. And here I decided to start counting <laughs> um, when I was building the second cliff. I just felt like it was really close to the river mouth and I wasn't sure if I would have room to put like a nice table and chairs and some other decorations. So I decided to grab the bridge and start calculating what kind of space I would have for what so I wouldn't have to go back and forth building and destroying bridges and stuff like that, you know, I wanted to get it right the first time.
So I went back and tried to gauge how much space I had in between where the campsite started and the canal ended. I do end up um, bringing the canal further back, so for now I was happy and I wanted to start adding in the water on the second tier. I placed my first bridge in here. I was happy with the measurements that I had and I just kind of adjusted this area here a little bit, brought it in closer so that I would have the same amount of space in between the beach and the bridge and then the bridge and the second tier, if that makes any sense. I ran off to go grab some bushes and decorations, so now I'm ready to kind of start figuring out the style that's going to be working around the first bridge on the lower half here. I did find this nine tile path, the stone path, um, which I really like, but clearly it does not go very well with the stone bridge, so I decided not to use it here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of it. I do really like it for the more kind of rural part of the island. I am also looking into maybe getting a trim for the in-game stone path. I think that would be really cute as well. Um, so I am kind of checking out those. If you guys have any codes, make sure to put them in the comments so I can check them out. So I'm just laying out the beginning of the path here. Wade comes to say hello. He's so cute. I skipped past the me filling in the path because this was a lot of footage, so it's going to magically be full on both sides. But yeah, I do like the way the stone path looks, but I think having a trim on it would be really, really nice. So definitely if you guys have some ideas, let me know.
I don't know why, but the bushes in this build were such a hassle. I wanted to use them and then I didn't have space. And then I switched the bushes for street lamps and it was just a lot of back and forth. But um, once I get the street lamps in, it's really starting to get the vibe that the island is going for. I love it. I'm super excited. So finally getting in some decorations, I go ahead and just plop the exact same thing on the other side. We are starting with symmetry. Oof, symmetry. I love it. And I did have these stalls that you saw, but I wasn't 100% in love with the way they looked. The pattern with the stall color, uh, I just couldn't get down with it. So I ended up not using them in this build, but maybe we can use them later. Okay, so remember when I said about the bushes not really working? These these were worse. <laughs> I love the way they look, um, but I could not make them look good. It was a serious struggle. I tried with two and then three and then I rounded the path and then I cornered the path and it was just... I don't know. I don't know how to make the panels work. I just really am not good at it and I really tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I end up um, putting staircases here, so yeah, the struggle, the simple panel struggle, it's very, very real for me. We are putting some more fencing down, blocking it off really nice way, the stone walkway, and boom! I have signs. Guys, I have signs? They're great. I have one to the right for the shops, and then I have one to the left for the residential area. I'm so excited to start connecting like the areas on my island. It's all gonna look so nice all together. Just ugh. 
I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I know I've said that already, but I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> So I am coming through and just building up the second tier here so I can start working on the top in a little bit and I'm gonna magically fast forward and have all of that done. <laughs> Boom! Magic of editing. Here's a bush. <laughs> Which I also end up removing. Or actually no, maybe I keep those. I don't know. Guys, I'm telling you, the bushes, they just didn't want to work with me today. But yes, I am copying the same idea that I had going on below so it's nice and cohesive and setting up for the second bridge and you know I'm not gonna ignore that balloon I didn't grab the present but it's there I got it later don't worry <laughs> So going ahead and placing the second bridge, I'm so stoked. Boom, looks beautiful. I love it. So I take a little break, grab some items, and we're back. Okay, <laughs> so I actually took a little break and did some inspo searching because as I was building, I was like, where does the canal end though? I wasn't like, I just didn't understand. So girl went on Pinterest, picked up some stuff, um, and I decided that it would be nice to have it go back uh, as far as possible and then have a, another tier with a really nice water feature. So I bring it back, I make this little path with the little stone circles so that there would be an area where you can get through the piece of land without having to go all the way down to where the first bridge is. So I go ahead and lay those down and then start building up the Cliff in retrospect. What? Guys, English. I swear to God. I do the path first, so the path is done. And then I build the cliff around it. Got it.
Okay, pass is done. We're starting the cliff. And like I said, just kind of working around, trying to make it look more natural over in this area because now that it's crept up to the campsite, I want it to be a little bit more, I almost said jungly, but foresty, um, a little less structured. So the canal goes from being like very symmetrical and then opens up into, I do kind of another sunken waterfall. Um, so it's a very structured straight line and then it kind of dips down into the cliffside and is a nice pretty little feature. Okay, the super time-consuming filling of cliffs is done. I'm going around and smoothing out all the edges. I didn't fully decide that I was going to do another kind of sunken waterfall here, so that's okay. We go, we go back. It's all good. So I'm just smoothing out the corners, and then I'm going to hop on up and start building the third tier. And we're going in. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to do another sunken waterfall like this because there's one literally right behind it. Um, but I can help myself. I don't know. I, I'm I'm into the sunken waterfall thing right now. Um, but it came out really really nice, so I'm glad I went ahead and did it. So you guys can just watch me do some more terraforming.
So with that part done, I came up here and it was time to connect the canal to the water feature back here. So I just kept it nice and straight and then started rounding it off the closer we got to the sunken waterfall. I went ahead and kind of fenced off this area. I didn't want it to be accessible, just kind of something pretty to look at. So I threw some fences. This area isn't 100% complete because right behind those fences, or I guess in front of those fences, I am going to do more cliffs and branch it off towards resident services. So this general water feature isn't going to be accessible, but there are going to be paths that come out from this original space and then turn into something else on the island. And I finally gave up on the <laughs> on the paddles. Um, so yeah, I just I wasn't vibing with them, wasn't looking nice. So this is where I decided to go ahead and do some staircases instead. And honestly, I felt kind of bad for taking up two of our precious eight inclines on this area, which is kind of why I started brainstorming and figuring out how to add different sections of the island off of this uh, second tier cliff. So that was kind of what made me think of that idea going forward. Are back down here now adding some more furniture again to mirror the other side I put the garden iron table and chairs 
and it's really coming along now. It's starting to look very white and pretty. Oh, this theme makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm so glad I changed my mind. I also decided to customize the drinking fountain because the ivory wasn't white enough um, so I thought the gray looked a lot nicer to kind of go with the iron and stone fencing and I put that back and I like that color a lot better in this space. So I ran around and did some cleaning up and I'm ready to go ahead, travel to the next day so we can get our bridge and start putting in our inclines. Incline number one is in and ready to go. And now that the bridge is done up above, I can go ahead and go up and finish up my stone pathing up there and get it looking all nice. finished up with my pathing and traveled again so I could put the second incline in, went ahead and paid that off and with that we are almost done with the build. Did a little bit of a run around to make sure things were tidy and everything was done. Talked to Pearl for a reaction here and we're all finished. Here is the final result. Like I said, the upper cliff area with the second bridge isn't 100% done because I want to build off of that area for different sections on the island. So for now, down here is all good, ready to go. And if you guys have any ideas on how to transition onto the beach from the stone path, I would super appreciate that in the comments because I'm not sure how to go about doing that. I hope all of you enjoyed the builds, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like, comment, share your thoughts, give me your suggestions, how do you like the build, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I can also officially announce that the Discord is ready, I finally finished it, I'm super excited. Unfortunately, since all my content is not PG-13, the Discord is 18+. So as long as you are 18 or over, you are welcome to join. The link is now in the description. And I'm super stoked and excited to see a lot of you in there soon. 
I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you for watching my video, sticking with me until the end. I am very grateful for the support that I've gotten so far. It is so heartwarming and just really awesome to see people come together and I'm so happy to be working on stuff that I'm super passionate about, like video games. If you guys have any suggestions for what kind of build you would like to see me do next on Willow, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys!